Well, in this week's Northwoods Adventure, Shane Lee heads to the waterfront in Bemidji for the second annual rhubarb bash. At first glance, the vendors and customers appear to be participating in a normal farmer's market. But a closer look shows Paul Bunyan Park plays host to none other than rhubarb bash. And it tastes like springtime. <laughs> Bemidji's Natural Choice Farmer's Market displays rhubarb pies, bread, muffins, juice, and even clothing. And I try to be a rhubarb stock with my hat being my rhubarb leaf. And, and I also made some mustaches. And so these will stick on and come off. Just a few vendors over, Gail Rickson shares her rhubarb juice and a different kind of rhubarb hat. Rickson organized activities for young people, including the leaf toss and the raw stock dare. We're asking people to eat a piece of, of rhubarb this long, raw with no sugar. And there's always this face, but we, a lot of people are able to do it. One Lakeland News reporter rose to the challenge and would describe the stock as crunchy, juicy, and a little sour. A muffin served as the prize for the effort. Why rhubarb bash, you might ask? Well, in a cold Minnesota spring, it's one of the very few vegetables farmers can depend on. There's so many foods that you make with rhubarb. It's got a lot of history, and um, it's something you can eat in the garden with sugar when you're a kid. <laughs> it's just a, a unique plant, and that's part of it. Is, is, is It is unique. Last year's rhubarb bash was the busiest farmer's market day of the season. Christosik says creating recipes can be the most difficult part of rhubarb bash. One of my best-selling jams is a rhubarb crystallized ginger brandy honey jam. And I only use honey for sweetener, there's no sugar in it. I cannot speak for the jam, but the rhubarb and maple syrup pie was delicious. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. A rhubarb pie is very good. Bemidji's Natural Choice Farmer's Market happens on Saturdays from 8.30 in the morning until 3 o'clock in the afternoon.